one of my little mini schnauzers, and, and uh, he wanted to say hi to you today. I'm thinking about prayer. Sometimes it takes God a long time to answer our prayers, and sometimes it happens that fast. In Daniel chapter 10, we begin that chapter reading that Daniel has been praying and fasting for three solid weeks. Suddenly an angel appears before him, and, and Daniel is so frightened that he falls down as though dead. In other words, he faints, and he's paralyzed with fear. Well, the angel begins to talk to Daniel, and the angel says, Daniel, your prayer reached the ears of God the very first time you began to pray. Really? I would have been thinking, seriously, I've been praying and fasting for three solid weeks, and and the answer was given to you three weeks ago? What happened? Did, did you lose your GPS? Why have I been waiting for three weeks? Why didn't you come earlier? The angel says, but Daniel, the reason I was delayed was because I was caught up in intense spiritual warfare in the heavenlies. In other words, I was in an intense spiritual battle, and it was so intense I couldn't get loose. God had to send Michael, the archangel, to relieve me from battle so that I could come and give you this answer. And then the angel gives us Daniel chapter 11 and Daniel chapter 12. I say all that to encourage you. Don't grow weary in your praying. It may seem as though God has delayed his answer, but we don't have a clue what's going on in the heavenlies. We are under intense spiritual attack. So when God's delays seem long, keep the faith, continue to pray, and don't grow weary in your praying. God has heard, and he will answer your prayer.